staff members at the New York Times aren't doing that. So I am definitely going to come across stories and information that I only I would know about and their staff wouldn't know about. Here's something I think about. Why isn't it that staff at the New York Times and virtually any of the major media institutes, why aren't they thinking about this topic more frequently? You'd have to ask them, Kurt. I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, except that, you know, there's still a stigma and that stigma is definitely still at play. Uh, and the New York Times covers so many topics they would consider to be way more important than this, such as the war in Ukraine, you know, all kinds of things. Um, they certainly have gone with the Chinese balloon story, but that's not really the kind of story we're talking about. So I, I really can't answer that. And it's especially mystifying to me because the stories that we've done so far have gotten huge attention for the New York Times. Uh, you know, a huge number of people viewing them. The readers ob- obviously loved the stories and want more, but I can't speak for them. I just know that it, they don't cover it on a regular basis. They will cover things like a hearing that takes place in Washington or when the report comes out, you know, the ODNI report, they have one of their people cover that. Um, so, yeah, you'd, I don't know. Uh, people would have to ask them. People will have to write to the editorial department, write to them and say, we want to see more coverage of this. But I can't, I can't speak for them. I, but I do know that that stigma is pretty powerful at the New York Times, maybe more so there than a lot of other media because they are considered the paper of record and they're very cautious. And the Chinese balloon story, you're referring to what happened in Yukon? Yeah, I'm referring to everything starting with the shooting down of the Chinese balloon going forward from that. I mean, that's been such a huge thing in the media and the Times is doing a lot of coverage on that. And Helene Cooper's been part of that. 